Right, hello. I hope that you can hear my voice because I've come out to do another vlog on the road. It's pretty much my back garden. Uh, I've been asked that and many questions about how much snow do we basically have in Peterborough or, you know, and I've just basically said I do not know. But this will give you an indication my back garden of where it's snowing. Basically, if we move and go to my back gate, open it, you get the gist of basically snowing there and all the way down there so practically we have enough it's settled nicely um personally I don't like snow and uh, I'm not sure you know I like going out in it but that's basically how snow as it is We'll come back inside now, and uh, there's no purpose to this blog, it's a ba basic random blog. Uh, this is my kitchen, it's a bit of a mess because we're having a tidy up and all this and that. And So basically I'm going to uh, go into the living room. Uh, I've been out, so basically I'm still wearing my jacket, and I've decided to do, you know, so I'll come and sit down now and it'll be the basic, simple idea as you do and uh, basically there's a couple of people in America who are a little bit jealous because we've got snow Kathy for one and I always want to give a mention to Megan in America who's a lovely little girl she ain't little but you know you know what I mean and uh, basically I like to call her little she's a little sweetheart and uh, give a mention out to her she does some very cool blog blogs and uh, hopefully she'll keep doing them and uh, I like to subscribe to a few people and that I don't always watch or probably say that if I subscribe to too many people time consuming to watch them all and it is um, so generally I like to just you know see what comes up when they do their blogs you know um, if they're like me random it could be about anything um, I do I do I do a lot of suggestions I don't mind doing blogs and making suggestions about practically um, anything um, as, long, as long as I can talk about a subject, don't go give me a subject like rugby because I don't understand the sport egg chasing, don't understand what it is and, and that and certain things or not but, but, but generally random things you know that I can talk about and uh, really get, give myself you know the two pence that is worth, you know, to try and, um, you know, and views that may be affecting um, what it, uh, what, what, what we are. I think we should finish slightly with the X Factor and the Christmas number one. Rage Against the Machine, you fucking knobhead. Yes, I know I've got one of your CD albums, but I don't think you deserve to be number one. Sadly, um, not that. Well, yeah, it it does matter. Um, although you were lucky, because I think you were just randomly picked as a song that's probably more or less in the right direction with Sam and Carol and the X Factor and so on. But the lucky the lucky thing was that Tesco was selling a download of Joe McKelvey for twenty nine p. It wasn't eligible for a chart. So therefore, if say. 2,000 people have gone on Tesco to down it at that price. I'm not saying 2,000 and a half, but if 2,000 and a half, that would have count and, and it was eligible, that would have also counted towards sales. Also, HMV, act, the HMV boss actually did say that uh, the snow could be affected because basically um, nobody could go out and buy the CD single, which traditionally a lot of people do go out and buy the CD single of the X Factor winner and so on, and therefore couldn't get to town and therefore weren't able to buy the CD single. Uh, that that could well have been it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could order it online. But you see, ordering it online would be, would it, you know, will it get on time? You know, again, that is probably the effect that may, may have... Um, but it only got released on Wednesday, so generally that, you know, 
so I, th I guess that could have been partly to bl partly, but I suppose a lot of people say, yeah, but Rage Against the Machine did it fair and square. Yeah, but what happens next year? The only the only way of really beating the X Factor number one is to not just release a record that's randomly picked where everybody goes on Facebook and downloads it. I mean, people will probably download it who don't even like the fucking band, right? And that's stupid. Yet, yeah, what you should do is next year they should say, right, X Factor are going to have their record out, but we've got some big releases. Big bands, big artists are going to be releasing something to try and knock you know, the perch off the tree, you know, that sort of thing, you know. It could well be Leonie Lewis, but it could be anything. It could be some quite big artists who are literally releasing a record that could well knock them off their perch. You know, Westlife are quite popular, Take That's quite popular. I'm quite sure any of their records could get released, and it could well go to number one. It could be an absolute classic, sort of, like when it's R&B records, that like everybody, I love R&B, want to download it, I want to buy it, and not x back off his perch and then you know basically um you know as long as you're not a two them fucking boy or and then we get out we get out to put over that one you know you know how two them boy is in fact i've not been practicing but i've been i've been taking the mick out of her basically at home by by putting on my susan boyle voice hello there i'm from scotland my name is susan boyle Aha! Uh -huh. I dream the dream of time gone by. My name is Susan Boyle and I'm a fucking witch. Yeah, I wish she would sing like that or something like that and just basically think about what she is because I don't like her. But that is another story. That was probably just so random at the end and maybe just not funny but I just wanted to do that because I just fancy taking the piss out of Susan Boyle. Just do. There's no difference to taking the piss out of other people, you know. But that's the way it is. I mean, comedians take the piss out of famous people. We can do it. <laughs> Hello there, Susan Boyle. I'm a fucking witch. Yes, I am a witch. Yeah. And hopefully, won't be in music long. Anyway, that's it for now. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.